Good morning, water signs, and welcome back to Will's Cards for Nancy Tarot. Ladies and gentlemen, what I like to do is just going to give you your basic general teacup reading. And following this reading, ladies and gentlemen, I will be posting more of your, um, I know I've already posted Scorpio, but I will be posting Pan, uh, Pisces and Cancer um, ex-love romantic reading um, shortly following this one. But I just wanted to go on and get you started with this one. And this reading is going to cover a variety of areas. And ladies and gentlemen, if this reading resonates, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. So what I'm going to do here with this reading, I'm going to just examine the more negative aspects of things that I see coming towards you this month. And then I'll, go, I'll try to end this reading on a more positive um, type tip for you. Okay, let's start off here with just looking at this ink pot, okay? This certainly shows, ladies and gentlemen, that there are certain problems that you really need to resolve this month, and it seems that these are issues that you've, you uh, kind of fail to face, you know? It's like you've neglected them, so it, you need to resolve them and try to resolve them by the end of this month, okay? With this wreath card, I'm seeing, uh, getting a sense of uh, that, I'm seeing you sorrowful over some type of a loss. And this loss could be in connection with a friend. It could be a relative. Or it could be possibly with even a business situation or um, perhaps something connected with even, um, for some of you, an accident of some sort. Or it could just as well be a financial matter. But also I'm seeing that with this gavel card, it could be something in conjunction with that because it shows that many of you or some of you are going to have some involvement, I'm feeling, um, with the law this month, okay? And then next you have this uh, bull card, and that's suggesting to me that try not to back down from opposition, and perhaps it could be connected with, you know, your your, your legal situation or something else that you might be going through where you need to show considerable strength and fortitude, okay? And this could, in fact, as I said, be uh, related to a situation or either a person could be connected here, okay? I'm also feeling here with this wedge card, it appears that someone is, in fact, is trying to come between you and a friend or perhaps something it is that you really want, okay? And because you only have this one picture card, it could just might well be with this older woman that might be uh, in, the, in the way. Or you may have some dealings of some sort uh, with her, okay? And some of you might, in fact, have some dealings with her because you have this teapot here. And that usually represents, you know, for you women, you know, dealings with a same-sex female. And of course, with you men, it shows that you probably are going to meet someone too that's of the same sex that um is going to be important to you in some way i'm feeling okay because it might be something that you are in need of help or assistance and it looks like this person is like i said it could be an older woman that might help you or it could be someone else potentially that has the data and information available for you and they can help you um, in times of need over or even in fact assistance okay i'm feeling okay just moving right along to your next card here you have this ear card okay and that shows that good news seems to be coming towards you guys this morning and try not to you know really let your pessimistic attitude spoil things you know this card is or symbol is trying to tell you to assume a more optimistic stance okay and then you have this goldfish that's a great signal guys that there's going to be an increase in material wealth for you or even, in fact, your spiritual understanding, okay? And then also in connection with that card, you have the bread card. And this shows, too, that this month is certainly going to be a period of prosperity and abundance for you. And it looks like this abundance, it seems to be, it's going to come towards you through the home or something you're doing in the home. I'm feeling that it's going to, you know, that you're going to find very... I'm prosperous, I'm feeling. And then it looks like that you guys also, you know, you're very focused, I'm feeling here. So with this Sunrise card, I'm seeing a lot of new creative ideas, you know, new ventures that you're going to be pursuing as well as um, fresh starts, okay? And it looks like something very important is coming towards you with this bad card. It could be a bad card. It could be, it looks like you guys are either going to get a new job or some of you are going to get a new raise. 
Because this table here represents the hard work, ladies and gentlemen, that you put into doing what you're doing. And the bag here shows the reward that you're going to be receiving, okay? And just to further emphasize the spiritual awareness that you're going to be kind of gaining here, you have this torch card. And that shows that you're going to be further developing your spiritual uh, spirituality. And I'm sure that you, it looks like you're going to have a better understanding of the situation that you find yourself in this month. And for those of you who are kind of wondering whether you have a guardian angel or someone, perhaps it could be a deceased relative. It looks like someone is around you, you know, that's really kind of guiding you and protecting you here with this angel card. And despite whatever harm or whatever problems that may come towards you this month, this card is ensuring you that everything by the end of this month is going to turn out to be just fine for you guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have for you. As indicated, I will be posting your um, uh, your ro more romantic reading shortly. Um, please take a few moments to comment. And again, if this reading resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. And please be sure to share it with others. If you'd like a more personalized reading, you can contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Enjoy your day. Thank you.